Um, waivers from the purchasing policy and purchasing procedures for the purchase of intravenous pipe pumps for the fire department. 718-9, control, supervision, and enforcement. Do we need to do each one separately? or No, all? you can do them collectively, Mr. Chairman. 718-15, period one, policy waivers. 718-16, sole source provider. This is a sole source provider. Uh, it is recommended by uh, Homeland Security. It's recommended by the fire department. It's recommended by, um, I guess that's it. Um, these are current pumps, which we use for intravenous fluids on the ambulances, are about to expire as far as date is concerned. We need to fi find and, and acquire new ones. These new ones are very good. They're, they, they're far superior to the ones we currently have, and the fire department would like to enjoy purchasing them. Um, the current ones that we have, they have offered to recondition them. There's a $100 difference between the new ones and the reconditioned ones, but the reconditioned ones will not have the metering capability that the new ones will, uh, precise metering capability in order to uh, inject the IV fluid. The fire department's recommendation, and I agree with them, is to purchase the ambulance from the uh, ambulance fund. Sure. But it does require board approval. I have no questions. Mo motion? Or? I'll make a motion that we uh, allow the uh, fire department to purchase the pumps for each of our three ambulances for a total cost of $9,600. Second. And, and uh, go, uh, waive, waive the... Uh, Sections. The purchasing, purchasing policy. policy. Okay. All in favor? Opposed? <laughs> <laughs> Waivers from purchasing policy and purchasing procedures for the Church Street grease cleaning of wet wells. 718 3, period A, purchase of supplies, materials, and services. 718 9, control, supervision, and enforcement. 718-15, period one, policy waivers. 718-16, sole source provider. Again, Mr. Chairman, this is a sole source provider. It's, the cost is $23,800. There is in the Church Street Station a cake of um, grease. I hate to say that, but it's a cake of grease uh, that is more than four feet thick in the pump station that needs to be removed. Uh, and this provider has the capability, has the equipment, uh, and they are the only source of provider with the equipment that can remove this material. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Were you guys here to answer any questions? Yeah. Or? But I, I guess we don't have any. I or? would just add, it's per the 18 January 2018 memo from Chris Jacobs, the director, and it is a sole source and, and that we now conform with the purchasing policy, having identified such, and it is not to exceed $23,800. Where does the grease come from? Everybody at the beach. You guys just want to move up, come on up and just give us a little. Uh, I know you were waiting to get on TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it comes from uh, either the restaurants or residential use. Um, it just it builds up over time. And how much time has this built up? Would you say? Well, when we've been the in there uh, a couple times trying to uh, have it cleaned out by different other means, either a septic collar or a, a different back truck. But uh, this company here, they have the means of actually uh, sucking it up totally, cleaning the whole thing right out and offloading it at their facility, which is... Uh, Can I just right. interrupt for a minute? Can you guys just in, 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 uh, identify yourselves? Uh, just because we all know you, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Mike Duby, Wastewater Operations. And Mike Carl, uh, Wastewater Chief Operator. Okay, so... So do you suspect that people are putting, uh, emptying their uh, grease traps or something in there? It, it could be, you know, just regular uh, bathing soap it uh, goes down the drain and then it congeals back again mm -hmm. and, and grease from you know people cooking bacon or what, what have you it's just you know I think we just need to go and educate the public more about the, the harmful effects it does have with the, and how the often system. should this be cleaned out like that I mean how many it, well the amount of grease that we do <laughs> see from the beach area from you know maybe all the seafood that's cooked and stuff that you know we're gonna 
get to it uh, twice a year, so it, it won't be as bad okay. next time around. We hope. Right. <laughs> but one of the issues within the state is the number of disposal places to get rid of the grease is um, there are fewer and fewer places to get rid of it. For example, uh, waste management up in Rochester just closed their liquid waste uh, disposal site. So it makes it harder for us to find a space to dispose of this. We can't get rid of it in our own treatment plant, so we have to truck it off site. And then after uh, we get this cleaned out, we uh, are going to demo a couple of units to keep the, uh, the water in the wet well mixed up so that the grease doesn't have time to like congeal and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if we, we're going to see how that one works too. Just okay, to great. This. For a while, yeah. people were collecting grease and using it as fuel, right? And it, that, that right. sort of diminished. Um, I don't know if there's any um, program like that that's operating currently down at the beach. Um, yeah. Rusty, don't most of our restaurants have grease traps, and that you guys inspect mm -hmm. those? Correctly? We do. Yes. Yes. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So, I mean, like you said, I mean. <clears throat> it is a beach community, and right. yeah. I'm sure a lot of people fry food at home, and yeah. mm -hmm. it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. so. I just have one thing. Yeah, that too. Most of, I mean, I worked in a lot of restaurants in this town, and everyone I've worked in has always had a grease trap. But mm -hmm. um, just like you said, if you cook bacon or something, like you shouldn't just let that go down the drain. Mm -hmm. like yeah. You should put it. You're supposed to put that like in a can or something. Exactly. And then, and yeah, right. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, like you said, a lot of people just need. To then what's the proper way to dispose of that? So in a can and then in, in the a trash. In and then in yeah. the trash. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's, I can't imagine throwing it down my drain. Okay. Anybody surprised. else? That's it. Okay, uh, we have a motion. Motion and a second. Yep. Okay, all in favor? Good, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I just thought you sat there, you might as well get a chance to talk. <laughs>